And welcome back to Bitcoin Advisor Channel. My name is Chris, bringing it to you here from my lovely Westlake Village, California. It's bright, it's early, and it's actually four o'clock. We just had the daily close. And what are we looking at here? Injective. Um, I'm going to call this one the trade of the day, dare I say. Um, but very, very similar setup here. A bit of a W formation. Could you call it a W or could you call it a... Um, a bull flag and I think that is the more accurate uh, name for this one so call it a breakout retest it broke out one time failed and now uh, I'm looking for this to be the next major buying opportunity um, we talked about a similar trade set upon rune um, and it didn't quite get tagged so the reason I'm doing altcoins uh, today, well, we know what Bitcoin did. Bitcoin moonshotted, um, but real easy trade set up on this one. First target is going to be that 1618 FIB. After a long consolidation like this, I do suspect this one really uh, does something like what Casper did. <clears throat> Very, very similar chart to Casper and to Rune, which I could find them if I could find them. Okay, Casper. So long bull flag. Bull flag, whatever you want to call it. Uh, long consolidation sideways and down finally uh, broke out. And uh, well, that was your signal to go long by taking out that wick. There was your W. Very similarly on this one. very similarly injective um, and I'm going to go over and make sure you smash the like button if you do enjoy some of these trade setups on some of the altcoins um, injective you know it, it's it's the waterfall effect here essentially but that would be nice uh, something like 117 and in order for that to uh, happen Injective is already one of the biggest players, one of the best performers over the last year. What is the market cap on Injective? So for it to go from 40 bucks or uh, 39.99, massive consolidation. And I do think it is, don't quote me, uh, breaking out here, but uh, Market cap currently sitting at 3.7 billion. Um, for this to get to 8 billion, I think it's it's it could easily happen, sir. Sirs and sirs, easily it could happen. Um, that's why I like this one. So what you're looking for is a breakout retest of this trend line. That would be your go signal, and your first target being that 1618. The second target being the 2618. So I'm going to post that in our Discord. Make sure you like and subscribe and join the Discord here. Uh, learn how to start trading. Benefits of learning how to trade. Well, those benefits are going to come in large. Uh, you know, being able to use a low leverage. And um, yeah, I highly, highly recommend it. Put my blood, sweat and tears in there. And this is going to be one of the last weeks you can get in for free. So make sure you sign up and check us out there. I'm going to go over one other trade setup that um, is potentially eyeing us in the forehead right now. And anyways, that would be the full measure move. But very similarly, cast broke out, bang, took out that trend line and just took off to the races. Did grind it out a little bit uh, above this trend line. So just not saying uh, history is guaranteed to repeat itself, but uh, these coins tend to rhyme a bit. They tend to have a bit of a rhyme and a reason. Um, -da 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 -da. Next one's up on the list. I wanted to see Rune, which um, definitely enjoying that trade there. Which I did end up uh, taking. Oh, look at Super putting in a massive higher low on the daily time frame. Question is, are we going to lift off here or do some sideways and consolidation? I think that is the main question at hand. Um, you 
Needless to say, needless to say. Rune, very similar consolidation right here, boom. And what actually was the biggest indicator of them all? Look at Rune, look at Rune doing its job here. Did my Rune trade hit? I hope not. I hope. Ah, still in there. So I'm gonna just show a little bit of what I'm doing here to build my leverage portfolios up here. So we did uh, identify this trade and uh, on the daily time frame, what happened here? Well, um, the trade setup was given on the Discord, but um, I'm trying to find words for, I'm looking at Rune now. Rune trade setup. Oh yeah, that was the trade setup. I said, hey, look, you could wait for this target to get hit, an actual retest of the trend line, or you could front run it and just buy off the green 55. And that one is in play. And the next target is gonna be that 786 FIB coming in at 655. I'd say uh, more than likely than not, as uh, volatility is increasing, all buy signals back in the bullish control zone. Mr. Rune is looking bullish. Mr. Rune is looking bullish. Injective, kind of a similar setup. Now, this one has been a bit of a laggard, but what you can see now is all those same kind of buying signals. Um, first time back in the bullish control or at the bullish control zone is typically a sell and this one is going to remain up as long as we're above 33 bucks so pretty pretty easy trade setup and again the 1618 fib how greedy do you want to be i say we go for the 2618 but you could do uh something like this tp1 tp2 tp1 tp2 and if it really wants to get going, which I think it could, I mean, to be frank, I think this one is one of the ones that if volatility begins to expand from this high level, I mean, look at this coin, guys, look at this coin, straight up, straight up all year long. And what's to say the trend is not going to continue here. We just took out yesterday or last week's high. Very good look here. And as long as we're above 31.91, then all is well in the land of Rune, excuse me, uh, Injective. And as you can see, Rune has a lot more to go. You know, a lot more to go um, just to get back to the all-time highs. However, Injective is making new all-time highs. And just to put it in perspective, so market cap on Injective would have to double, get to eight billion uh, for, for Rune which these guys were like neck and neck last year, racing for, for gains. I mean, we're talking about similar blockchains, similar things, and Rune is at 2 billion. So maybe Rune is the better opportunity. Caspa, another one on the list here. Uh, on the list. Market cap, 3.8 billion. So interesting, these are in the top 30 tokens. And I, if you wanna check in our YouTube channel, we have uh, check-ins with Chris, where I went kind of made an in-depth uh, of like, what is Injective? What is Rune? Um, so you guys could have a little more background information. Uh, another one on my list, uh, whales. Free the whales, free Willie. And Willie is getting free right now, I'd say probably going to buy a little bit more as we speak. Blue sky breakout. I just turned $140 into $1,300 over the last two weeks. Yes, it's possible in the land of cryptocurrency. My name is Chris Mitchell. I am the CEO of Crypt Courses, and I'm bringing you this video because I'm going to give you some really good information on how to buy, sell, and trade digital currency. Now, You've probably heard about a lot of people making a lot of money in crypto, but you don't feel safe or intelligent enough to make the investment. That's why I created Bitcoin 101, how to stack sats using technical analysis. It's the crypto traders dream to starting your crypto journey. 
It's absolutely free. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description below and we will get you your free guide today. With that said, guys, I'm going to leave you. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored day. And we'll talk about Bitcoin tomorrow. Actually, forget it. We're going to talk about Bitcoin right now. Uh, we did talk about it all year long. We said, hey, look. Uh, well, once you break the 618, next target is the 786. Coming in at 57000 bucks. I would expect some sell pressure. But I could be wrong, right? And... We could be making new all-time highs, and uh, I was just hearing a rumor about how the gold ETF, there's so much outflows from the gold ETF. Everybody's waking up, realizing they're dumb gold rocks are stupid. <laughs> Forgive me, guys. They're not stupid. I'm just kidding. But, uh, you know, much better upside opportunity, especially if you're in an ETF already. Like, the whole point of owning gold is to own something physical, right? Well, uh, with... The outflows going from the gold ETF, you know, into Bitcoin, it's it could cause some financial instability for the banks, which is what we like. It's where Bitcoin thrives. Needless to say, guys, I hope this if it brought any value to you in your day. Hopefully, ooh, somebody was doing this Avo wrapped E thing. What is this thing? Wrapped Moby token. Moby. Moby. Synthetics uh, trade setup still intact. Looking a little weak with that daily close, but this one is a bit of a laggard, slow mover. Uh, CRV also, I just deleted the trade that I posted in the Discord. I guess the one that I should um, throw back up there. Now, what you can do is, let's say you want to layer in your orders, right? All the way... Um, some people do it uh, different ways but needless to say you take a couple of lines here and you go okay I'm going to buy some here I'm going to buy some here at the target I'm going to buy some here and I'm going to buy my last order down here just in case the market wants to be a little piece of doggy do and come down and that way you're not FOMOing in your entire position right here at the top of the range so-called mid-range and um and then you you can potentially get the best buy-in right here off the support at 3286 um but just looking at this from a fibonacci perspective a couple of a uh, couple of uh things that tell me immediate continuation we closed above the middle wick here so if this is going to be some kind of a sloppy W consolidation, that's what's going to happen. And it is 4.30. We're about 30 minutes in. And the other one that I think is a hidden gem right before our very eyes right now, and we've talked about it a long time ago, got a huge trade off of big time. One of the gaming projects out there makes... Um, Excuse me, they make big time games, big time. So, um, <clears throat> on the daily, I mean, look, as soon as we get uh, above here, right here, I'm gonna take that magnet off. Above here, and have no fear, this one is gonna rip, 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 rip to the moon. Um, minimum target, you know, that 382 right there. So as long as that uh, last breakdown level, if we can break above it and do something like this, boom, higher low, that'll look good for really, really good price action for a big time. Again, big time. It's important you look at the market cap on these things because uh, if you want that 1020X big time, is that even the right symbol? Big time, big time news. Big time is a multiplayer action RPG for PC that melds a fast combat system within an open game economy. Is this it? Big time, 44 cents. Let's see. Big time, 44 cents. That's it. Um, anyways, I like this one for a bit of a 
trade right now because it's finally putting in another higher low. <clears throat> putting in another higher low. And now uh, we just need a higher high. So that's a confirmed higher low. Injective. Um, what about Slinky Linky? I'm still looking for Link to come down uh, along this tread line, maybe retest the support somewhere in this area at about 1611. That would look good for me, like a little wick down and then party to the upside. Uh, keep your eyes peeled for the whales. Free Welly. And Bitcoin, you know, we just want it to slow down. Uh, get some more people a chance to buy it. I mean, gosh. Wow, that 40% move on the five-day volatility, which I talked about yesterday saying, look, when the five-day volatility begins to expand, you get a 40% move. Oh, and that'll take us up to 59,000. Yeah, we, we discussed that yesterday. A 40% move would actually get us up to 59,000. That's where I think the market is going. Um, if it is gonna take another little leg up. What else do we have on the board? Uh, daily, uh, putting in a buy signal, flipping back up, rejecting, getting kicked out of the bullish control zone. We're back in the bull zone. Dude, new all-time highs. New all-time highs. Sorry, guys, you missed it. Sorry. Um, but I do believe the rotations are beginning to happen. ETH Bitcoin. Just put in a slightly lower high. No. I'll call it a higher high on a candle body closing basis. What am I talking about? The actual body of the candle is higher. So I'll give the benefit of the doubt to the bulls on this one. And we regain the purple 200 for the second time. Very likely this one heads onwards and upwards and parties to the upside. Now the question is how much do we want to do on Mr. Injective? Well, um, I'll answer that one for myself. You let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Have yourself a blessed and highly favored rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one.